Walking back to this Fisher set and I can already see I got Martin number four. Wow. They don't look so hot when they're wet. <laughs> Gosh. Get him dried up when we get home. I bet he's a beautiful Martin. I mean, perfect catch. Oh, but this means I'm gonna have to remake this damn running pole again. Who knows, maybe it was a Martin that took my bait, but I just, I don't know, I doubt it. I really think it was a Fisher. Wow. <laughs> and that is how quick winter can come here in the Adirondacks. Honestly, I am so glad about this. I'm so happy. Martin and Fisher trapping in t-shirt weather is just like not fun. There's something about it that just doesn't feel right. And I'm so excited to be able to find tracks. I'm so excited to be able to bed my traps in the snow. And it really feels like last year all over again when I was after some coyotes in the winter. Um, I have a whole bunch of wax paper this year. Uh, I actually moved, happened to move my business into an old restaurant building and I got all sorts of kitchen and baking and cooking supplies that I didn't need. And one of those perks was a shit ton of multi-size wax paper, um, thousands and thousands of sheets. So I'm well equipped, I think, for this winter trapping. Um, and we're gonna give it hell. I'm gonna try and catch a fisher try and limit out on Martin, try and catch some foxes, try and catch a bobcat, try and uh, catch a coyote. That's kind of how I'm feeling about the rest of the season and what I'm trying to do. But beautiful weather, let's get out in the woods. Look at the snow on those ducks' backs. I wasn't expecting to see those guys in here. They're out here late in the year. Now this, this is more like it. <laughs> this is my kind of weather. Okay, there's a mound right there. You can see it, I'm sure. And uh, what you can't see is that the other day I dug a hole in the top. I bedded, it in, bedded an MB550 and I covered it in wax paper and the snow has covered that just perfectly. I have a rib cage, uh, well, not a rib cage, but a section of ribs from the deer I shot this year. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna kind of stuff it in that wood pile there. And the idea is that a fox or a coyote will go on that mound to investigate it. Um, I know that there's a red fox in here because there were tracks and there's poop right over to my right. Uh, and I know he's walking along the edge of the water here. I'm not gonna hurt you. Fisher tracks. We're right near my running pole set. Just getting light out. Big buck tracks too. There's a running buck in here. I just want to point out, I'm here on top of this mound near my running pole. And if you watched my last video, I kind of figured a coyote would come up here on top of this mound. And unfortunately I had pulled my, my foothold that I had here. So that makes me feel like a dumbass. But um, I was right about that. There's super fresh fisher tracks in the area. I mean, my running pole is undisturbed, but let me show you how close these fisher tracks are. There's 
fisher tracks right here. So I'm gonna get out of here. Maybe that fisher is still in the area. Still thinking about my running pole. Well, nothing on that one today. It's nice to come and knock all the snow off your pole though. Got one more running pole to, to check and uh, it's the last trap for the day. Fingers crossed. We could limit out on Martin today, but I don't know. I don't really know if that's in the cards for today. Definitely an interesting day to be checking traps. Uh, we had some serious snow. We got smacked with winter a little bit. And uh, today we have a warm spell. It's probably 40 degrees right now. And as you can see, everything's melting. So I've been dabbling trying to get my coyote sets out and I've been waiting for the perfect snow. We're still kind of in that in-between stage and that might persist the whole season. You know, trapping in snow with footholds is never easy for coyotes. But tell you what, it's November 25th. We've just had a seriously slow uh, period in my trap line. No Fisher, no Martin. Aside from the Fisher tracks the other day, um, I really haven't had much action. I've been checking them. I did reduce my trap line a little bit because I get so busy with work and uh, Black Friday is a very big date for us. Um, so anyway, had to put in some work in the office, but I'm gonna go hard now. I've got one more Martin to catch, so that's kind of that's kind of leaving me unsatisfied and I'd like to catch a fisher. I would really like to catch a fisher, so I'm going to at least freshen up the bait and lure at all of my running poles today. Uh, might try and set a couple more and uh, try and nab this fisher and Martin before it's too late. So I'll check in with you guys if there's any interesting developments. Wow, I'm gonna mark this on my GPS. I don't have any traps on me now, but what a spot to make a fisher set. Look at that. That looks like a path across the creek that was engineered by a trapper. And there's a set of fisher tracks that cross it. They're kind of old but they're fisher tracks nonetheless. Pretty fucking cool. November 30th, final day of Fisher Martin season here in the Adirondacks of Northern New York. Wow, <laughs> I just turned around to get my camera. Guys, I caught a fisher. Last day of the season. And I caught a fisher. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is the running pool. Beautiful fisher. Hell yeah. Last day of fisher and martin season. And we got it done on the fisher. I didn't think I was going to catch one. I really didn't think I was going to catch one. I'm pulling my sets. It's the final day. And there we go. Once we get back, I'll give you a better look at him. But this is the running pole that did it. Same running pole that caught the two Martin back to back. So this is a great spot. I'm gonna set this next year. Here is that fisher. Sure. 